there, folks. This is Rocky Red Panda here for PND Studios. It is Wednesday, which means it's time for another food review. But before we get there, make sure you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos. Now, also, I do these food reviews for you guys. So anyone who comes to this area, my area, Adams County, Frederick County, Washington County, wherever within this trifecta of my area where I live, you know places to eat. And you can actually see reviews of those places done by me. Now, yes, I am a food critic and I do food reviews. But on every show, I do make sure to say, don't take my word for it. Guys, that means... You don't have to take my word for it, which means I want you guys to go out there and experience it yourself. This is just what I think of it, my reviews. You don't have to believe me because that's the whole fun of eating out and experiencing new places by hearing it from me and then go try it yourself. And maybe you can make your own happy memories. That's right. And you're probably wondering why I'm dressed in garb this week, 1700s garb. Well, we're going to be talking about the second half of the Dalvin House. The Spring House Tavern. One of the oldest buildings in the city of Gettysburg dating back to the 1700s. Think of the Revolutionary War. It's tea time. Yes, tea toddlers. Think of uh, George Washington, Paul Revere. Yes, the Revolutionary War. One of the oldest structures here in town. Um, they serve a menu of pub and tavern style food within Springhouse Tavern. A lot of that dates back to the 1700s. But please, don't take my word for it. Just watch this video. So the Spring House Tavern, it's located in the basement of the Dobbin House. Now, of course, with the day that I went there, the Spring House Tavern was full because due to COVID-19, they're limited on seating of how many people can sit. And it was completely full. So they sat us in the Abigail Adams Ballroom, which is located in the back. Now, that is pretty cool, Abigail Adams. Yeah, John Adams, Abigail, I, I kind of get it. But it was it was nice. I, I've been there before when they had the buffet. Um, I loved their food. Their food is absolutely amazing. But that apart, let's go ahead and let's break this down. When they sat us down, the first thing you're going to notice is the ambiance 
and the atmosphere within the Abigail Adams Ballroom. Um, it kind of has this modern feel, but at the same time, it gives this 1700s vibe, especially with the wallpaper, the tables, the chairs, the silverware, the plates, and the lighted candles on the table. Now, the menus were subpar. I love the menus because, again, they're using recipes or food that was here in the 1700s. It dates back to the time of George Washington. Now, I made sure to try a little bit of everything because as a food reviewer and a food critic, you have to try everything. So I got a drink. The drink was just absolutely amazing. Um, it was the, the Philadelphia House Punch, which is supposed to be a colonial favorite. It's rum, peach brandy, and fruit juice. And if you're wondering, I have all of my notes right here. So I don't forget to mention anything. But I absolutely loved that drink. Of course, I was driving, so I didn't drink much of it. But that was, it was delicious. And now, if I wasn't driving, I would actually drink the whole thing. Man, that stuff was good. Um, it's dangerous, but it was good. Um, I got the French onion soup. Now, let me tell you, I've had French onion at other places in town. Now, I keep telling people that each place is a little bit different. Man, each place is different, and it's not going to be the same. Well, I've never had the French onion soup here. I tried it. Boy, I can tell you right now, out of all the places in town, Spring House Tavern and the Dovenels has the best French onion soup you will get anywhere within this area. Now, they make it a little bit different. They use beef broth with little chunks of beef added to it. That enough alone could make a whole entire meal. Now, I was not used to it. I was like, wait, there's beef broth in here. I'm using this the French with the onions and the French onion mix. But wow, that was absolutely delicious. I absolutely enjoyed it. And then, of course, my mother, she got the, what you call it, the, uh, uh, the crab dip. I'm not a big fan of crab. I tried it. It was delicious. But I'm not going to be your your extraordinaire when it comes to seafood because I, I'm just not a crabby person. I mean, I do like my clams and stuff like that, but I just don't like crab. But from what my mother told me, she says it was pretty good, and she quite enjoyed it, which is which is good. Now I got the Reuben. I love the Reuben. Um, I usually get it with the with the uh, coleslaw or whatever on the side. I don't get it on my sandwich. Uh, no, it's a sauerkraut. Why am I thinking coleslaw? That's a Pittsburgh sandwich. Um, I'm thinking uh, sauerkraut. You should get that on the side. Now, I tried the sandwich. The sandwich was moist. It was juicy. It was tasty. It had flavor. You can taste the Thousand Island dressing. That was just all the flavors together with the sandwich make it one of the best tasting in this area for a Reuben. The only thing I will state that I was very disappointed in was their potato salad. The potato salad was lacking some oomph. It was missing something. I was very disappointed. I've had Amish potato salad before, and this it just wasn't sweet. It just wasn't sweet. It was flat. It could use its salt, maybe more mayo or something but it was missing something and that was about the only thing i did not like now my mother she got the open hot roast beef sandwich with a juice sauce um it was again cooked to perfection everything was good it looked good it tasted good i tried a little bit of hers i just absolutely loved it now with all that said let's move to the cleanliness of the restaurant so with the cleanliness they were very on track to make sure everything was wiped down, cleaned, and was COVID friendly. That's right. Whenever someone left, they immediately wiped down the tables, but they also walked around and wiped down in between guests, even when they didn't sit and they sat at the table. So it's very, very good. And of course, their menus are disposable. They toss them out. When they pick up your food, they put on gloves so they can handle your, your food trays. That's right, so they can handle your plates. They don't touch their plates with their bare hands which is pretty cool. Now the bathrooms, I was very I was very impressed. The bathrooms were kept clean, it was fresh, there was not a dirt a hint of dirt, grind, sliminess. I just think overall 
the impression I had, including the wait staff. I think it was a great experience. Now, most people are going to say, well, you haven't tried it out in Spring House Tavern until you've been down to the, the basement. I've been to the basement. I love the atmosphere. I love it down there. I think the atmosphere in the basement is great. Um, but, of course, the Abigail Adams Ballroom, which is a whole different experience. So, how am I going to rate this? And I'm going to break this down. Well, as a food critic and reviewer, I'm going to break it down like so. Let's talk about the French onion soup first. It's going to get its own rating. So the French onion soup, just alone, compared to all the other French onion soups within the area, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 for its uniqueness because it added beef broth and little chunks of beef in the French onion soup, and I've never seen anyone do that before. I thought it was just pure genius. Now let's talk about the crab dip. We're going to rate this alone by itself. I'm going to give the crab dip an 8 out of 10. Um, I love it. Again, I'm not a fan of seafood. My mother loved it, but she says she's had better. Um, so we're going to give that one an 8 out of 10. Now the drink I have had, the Philadelphia Punch, boy, that is one of the best punches I've had. Yeah, so I'm going to get that a 10 out of 10. I mean, I wish I could have drunk the whole thing, but of course I was designated driver for my mother. Um, so, no, I couldn't do that. Um, but let's talk about the, the sandwich I got and my mother's sandwiches. So the sandwiches alone, I'm going to give them both a 10 out of 10 because it was just absolutely delicious. Now that potato salad, if I can rate that all by itself, which I'm not, uh, I, I would seriously give that potato salad 5 out of 10 because that potato salad was just... No, 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 they could have done so much better. Cleanliness, 10 out of 10. Overall, the rating for Springhouse Tavern, I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. That's actually not bad. Congratulations, Springhouse Tavern. I will definitely be going back just for that punch alone. Now... I would like to hear your experience with the Springhouse Tavern, what your favorite dishes are, what your experiences were, especially with the wait staff and cleanliness. Kind of leave it in the comments below. But for now, this is Rocky Red Panda, signing out for this week's food review. Good eats, and I will catch you on the flip side. Till next week, I'll revere.